Hey everyone, um, Steve here with Class A, and uh, I had a gentleman ask me, uh, this is a little while ago, I apologize, I'm just getting to it, how would I go ahead and make this transition? And he basically gave me this. This is a, an S8, and he's making a case for it, and he's having a hard time making this transition go the way that he wants. So um, he asked me, how would I go about doing this? And there's several things that I would clean up and I'm starting out with my the, the cleaned up model so let me go ahead and hide this shape and uh, what he originally sent me was you can see these little fillets on the inside here uh, originally the profile stopped at this point stopped at this point stopped at this point so with this up here and all this was not added in and I extended out to the corners here and did the same thing the last thing that I did is I wanted to make sure that the sections in this case because I have hard corners uh, had similar amount of points. So as you can see, this section is perfectly smooth along the back. This one has a hard break in it. So this curve, this curve back here, was uh, broken in two, this arc. This is just one arc. So what I did is I put an actual point in the sketch. If I double click on that sketch and zoom up on it, you can see there's an arc here, there's an arc here, they're the same size, they're coincident, tangent, the works. That way, the sections have a similar amount of uh, nodes or corners. And the reason why I do that is, is because I want to make the shape as simple as possible. So when I go ahead and let me show these, make these extrusions, you can see I just basically ignore these little fillets. I ignore this cutout. I ignore this shape, this cutout. I ignore all of that stuff because I don't want it in there. Now, when I go make my studio surface, I end up with a very clean studio surface. I didn't put any guides in there. I could have used guides. Again, I'm just uh, flying through this kind of quickly. And the reason why I like this is, is because at this point, I could just simply go back into my assembly, extract this body, bring it into this part, offset it out a quarter of a mil, half of a mil, whatever is necessary, and then do a remove and um, so, or subtract so I can subtract that shape out that I don't need in here and let the initial original shape control that transition and that way you end up with this body controlling that inside shape rather than trying to control that inside shape with another feature and they'll never line up they'll never match up no matter what you do because the construction of the two is going to be different and because of that um, I prefer to use that sort of technique of allowing the body that's going to uh, fit into that shape drive the shape rather than trying to make a shape and force that shape in there now as you can see I have this little top here that also needs to be trimmed away and there are various things that somebody can go about and do and depending on how you want to trim away that top you can make another surface you can do whatever you want to do so so like in this case I'm just gonna go back into home I'm gonna extrude a single curve I want this curve that direction apply I want this curve I'm gonna reverse this okay let me go ahead and hide this out and go to a shaded, let me hide this, hide this, whoops, wrong button guys, let me hide that one, now that I have that like that, I'm just going to simply go into surface, studio surface, I'm going to go like that, I'm going to go like that, G1 is just fine for what I'm doing, uh, let me go ahead and hide these, and here, I'm just going to enlarge this a little bit, so I want to pick this, and I don't necessarily want all. I can just enlarge where I need. I need these two sides to come out a little bit, and I'll show you why. And then if you need to, you can bring this out just a hair, just to make sure it cuts through the part. Now, let me bring back my solid. I have that. And with that, I can just simply go here and do a trim body. I want to trim this to here. hide those out and that is now my top shape again I've simplified this 
pretty drastically. You could have created this as part of the initial sweep if you really wanted to, but uh, the reason why I do it separately is you may want to change the shape of this transition. And as you want to change the shape of that transition, uh, having a separate surface, driving curves, elements, whatever that is, is going to be critical. Uh, if that's not necessary, then you could have just left those two segments in as part of the initial shape and you wouldn't have the control that you're looking for. Um, so here is that final corner. And as you can see, this point here, as it wraps around and sweeps up to this point, this is where that additional point break is in this. Let me bring back these. Thought I picked that. There we go. Um, so you now you can control where this sort of feathers out to. You can throw in a little corner fillet if you want. And for the rest of these shapes, across the top and the bottom, again, I'm using the actual tool. The actual tool that I need in this case is going to be an edge blend or an edge fillet. Pick my edge. And do the same thing for this interior edge. Pick this one. As you can see, everything works out. We go up to one. Yeah, 0.75. Maybe you should have measured, all right, guys? That'll work. That's fine. This is, looks like it's one. That one's 0.75. Uh, let me do this. Just because it's the engineer in me, I can't help it. There we go. All right, so now, as you can see, I have those blends, those fillets, hide that out, in there to the exact correct size. Had I tried to put this in with a uh, um, uh, with my surface, my initial shape, right, when I went in there and did my studio surface, as you can see here, then chances are, as it wraps around from these corners, these corners here, it would vary the size of the radius. And we don't want the varying radius on that. We want those to be an actual true radius number. Because uh, if, if it varies, it'll catch weird highlights. It may not look right. It may feel weird as well. Because our hands are going to touch that. And our hands are far more sensitive to feeling something is off than our sight is seeing something is off. So um, in this case, you definitely want to have an actual radius fillet size in there. Uh, let's go like that, bring this in, and as you can see here, right, Next, the next thing would be to do is extract this in. Once you have that in, you can do your final removal, subtract it out, and then once you subtract that out, you can uh, clean up whatever needs to be cleaned up, do the offsets, and so on. Um, we go here, we go here. Go to my wave. I want my body. Uh, I don't want associative. Oh, he's already got the link body in there. Well, look at me. Um, so here, you would just simply go in, uh, offset, offset my face, pick these faces, and it's probably like a quarter of a mil at the most. And okay. Oh, doesn't like it. There's a, oh, there's, a, there's a little awkward little ledge in there. So I'd have to clean that body up, and that's fine. I'm not going to go do that because I don't have a whole heck of a lot of time. Plus, it's my weekend. Uh, and then once you do the offsets, you would just simply do that subtraction. And then here you would clean up this floor a little bit. Um, and that's about it, honestly. That is about it. That's how I would go about uh, tackling these kinds of corners. Throw in some fillets, okay? Because as you can see, this, this kind of scallops up and becomes uh, adds another face. Let the removals, let the trims, let the splits, let, let all those things add those additional faces. Try to build the biggest shape you can and then remove from that shape, okay? That's a, that's a big secret within the design world. It's not really a secret secret, but it's just one of those things that an experienced designer is going to know is you big it, build it big, 
and then trim things back, remove things, clean things up in said fashion. Anyway, hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and share with your friends. Chat soon.